What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out this YouTube channel. I am the Cord Basher and in this video we're going to look at how to play Free by Ultranate uh, and we're going to play it on the acoustic guitar. For this you're going to need a capo uh, on the third fret and it's a little bit complicated. There's a few bar chords um, but it's not too, uh, too difficult so uh, sort of beginner to intermediate level. Let's dive in and take a look. So here we are uh, zoomed into the neck of the guitar and like I said you need a capo for this, so I've got a capo on the third fret. And uh, to be honest, there's a lot of guitar tutorials out there where you don't actually use a capo, but for this, I find it a lot easier to actually bar um, using a capo on the third fret. So make sure that you've got your capo here. What we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna dive in and have a look at the, the chords. Bearing in mind there's a bit of picking going on and I'm actually going to be using a plectrum. We'll focus on the picking a little bit later. Let's nail these chords first of all and the, um, and the sort of pattern. So first of all, what I'm going to do is bar the uh, sixth fret right across with my first finger. And I'm going to put my third finger on the fourth string of the eighth fret, which is this note. I'm just gonna pluck from the fifth string down, from the A string down. So let's just listen to that. So we're not gonna pluck all together for the start, I just want you to hear what that chord should sound like. Press nice and hard uh, on the first finger. What I'm gonna do is put my pinky finger tucked underneath on this eighth fret of the first string, this note here. Should sound like that. So again, all five strings. That's what it should sound like. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna strum four strings. So from the D down. D all the way down to the first string. And as I'm doing that, I'm gonna slide my pinky finger up to the ninth fret, this note. That's the very first bit. And then what I'm going to do is take my pinky finger off and let those two strings, the uh, B and the E string, ring out. That's what it should sound like. Make sure that you're pressing nice and hard. You, um, It may be difficult to play to start with, but by the time you sort of practice it sort of 10 or 20 times, it should come really naturally. So. That's the very first bit. And then what I'm gonna do is put my pinky finger on the second string of the ninth fret. So. And then I'm gonna move my pinky finger back to the eighth fret on the second string. And again, I'm just plucking all three strings here at the bottom. Don't worry about the picking at the moment. We'll focus on that a little bit later. And then I'm gonna move this whole position and we're gonna go for a D minor shape, which is this. So your D minor, you've got your first finger on the, uh, the first string of the fourth fret. You've got your second finger on the fifth fret of the third string. You've got your third finger on the sixth fret of the second string. And some people ask me, why do I pluck the strings as I'm talking? It's so you can use it as a reference. So you need to know that you've got, those are the notes it needs to sound like. Okay, so it's your D minor. And we're just gonna strum from the D string, number four string down. First of all, you're gonna take your little, um, your first finger off. And then hammer it on. So it's second string. Okay. Let's go back to the first position. And 
And then I'm going to tuck my pinky finger uh, where my third finger is, but on the first string. So that's going to be on fret uh, six of the first string. And then I'm going to take that off and let the first finger ring out again. Let's go in and have a look at the plucking pattern now with the, the right hand. Right, here we go, I'm going to slow it right down. And again, I'm going to try to slow it down even more. So there we have it, a very quick and relatively easy tutorial on how to play free uh, Ultranate. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to the channel, there's plenty more coming out in the future. I'm also putting together uh, 10 videos for beginner electric guitar, so look out for that, uh, that's coming fairly soon. See you again!